nothing in comparison to the 22 years that it's been. Right, there are bizarre places to watch Scotland qualify for the Euros, and there are bizarre places to watch Scotland qualify for the Euros. Now let's be honest about it. Is this the most bizarre place to watch Scotland qualify? Fingers crossed, qualify for the Euros. Five minutes in, I think we've settled well. Steve Clark, what a job he's done in 
it's not, I, th- I think you said it was worth it, by the way. Well, exactly. I think everybody sort of had a comment on it. And, and, and the big Aussie up front. How good is he? He's not taking that away from his alley. Brilliant. I Listen, what, I don't right care. Heroes all over the park. Daryl, I don't care. In fact, I would actively encourage Steve Clark to head over to Australia and see if he can find any more of them. Because he, <laughs> he is absolutely... He was different class last night. He touched on it. What a couple of fines Gallagher and Dykes have been. They have been, in, 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 in terms of a centre-half and a centre-forward, what a couple of fines. They've, they've come from nowhere, effectively, and they've been brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You say nowhere, and, and, Ali, you say nowhere, but you've been talking about Lyndon Dykes with us for about, what, two years, the moment you saw him. Absolutely, Darrell, and I, I, think, I think I might be pushing it a little bit, but I think Chris might even back me up here. I've said for a long, long time that there's potential in Dykes. I always thought in Livingston there was improvement in him. He, he, he was aggressive enough. He was talented enough. He scored big goals. He scored against Celtic. He scored against Rangers. And I thought, you know, it's only a matter of time before somebody took a gamble on him. And boy, last night, I thought he led the line. And I came away from home where we were expected to be under the cosh a little bit. Well, certainly a lot more than we were. We need an out ball. And he held the ball up. He had a couple of runners going in behind him, whether it was Christie or McGinn. Fantastic. And, 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 and Gallic at the back, let's be honest about it, guys. He's, he's been terrific. He really has been terrific. <laughs> Room celebrations. You're not. You're not big on them. You told me you can celebrate now, surely. Listen, I'd have been exactly the same. I'd have been in the middle of it. But you know, it, it, it was so big, so enormous. Uh, you know what they achieved. They can celebrate for the next week. You know, I couldn't care less. They deserve everything they get. And do you know what? The courage of the penalty takers. There was so much pressure on them. And, and, we, we, we know what the headlines would have been had, had one of the guys missed and Scotland would have gone out. They, you, yeah. They'd never get over that. They'd never forget that. So, full it's credit. Chris, it's, McLean, a point, you know. it? it's a great point, because you know McTominay people were saying when he stepped up, oh, he lost his man for the header. If he, if he hasn't scored that goal, I wasn't saying that. The papers and the, <laughs> every, everyone across Scotland was thinking the same thing. Then McBurney <coughs> steps up. And the love hate that's come from the Scotland fans to him so far, you're thinking, no, Ollie, please not you. And then the mayor of Norwich does it, and then Marsh makes the save. I knew, I knew David Marshall would come good. I used to like smash 20 penalties past him a week. He never saved one of mine. But in the future, <laughs> don't you start that, taking that credit. practice, that practice maybe would get Scotland to a big tournament in years to come. <laughs> Can't even believe he's found a way to take credit for us getting to a major championship. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's brilliant. I knew, I knew there was something. I knew we could thank somebody somewhere along the line. I just forgot it was Chris. I just forgot. Oh, God, unbelievable! By the way, Scotland did the new Germany early, aren't they? After the penalties. <laughs> no, I think I think you'll find we're a little bit easier in the eye than Germany. I mean that regimented <laughs> stuff that they play. You know what I mean? You know, the one thing guaranteed with Germany, you know you're going to get to the finals and you know you're going to get to the semi-finals and the quarter-final. Every, every pass is an adventure with a Scottish national team, Chris. You don't know what's happened next. It's magic. If you go back a year to what Steve Clark had to take over and to the team which he has has now, and, you know, Ali mentioned the job Dykes has done, you know, what, what a fine, but... But the way the guys played off him, you know, Scott looked at, Scotland looked a real threat. McGinn is like a bull, isn't he? You can't knock him off the ball. And, yeah. you know, it does bode well that Scotland can go this, uh, into the Euros with real <coughs> confidence. Of course it will be difficult. But, you know, they, they proved worried, last Chris? night. Hey? You worried? Wembley? <laughs> we'll still pump you. I think, I think we all know that. But... <laughs> I don't know. You know what I say that I say that honestly. Defenders as a unit and as organisers as they were last night, good goalkeeper and players who can who can hurt any team on the day. So you just you just don't know. Scotland are moving in the right di- direction. 
great momentum and uh, and fair play to Steve Clark. Absolutely brilliant job he's done. Right, guys, hold on a second. I've just got a message here. Someone just dialing in. Right, so happy to say that Charlie Christie is on the show as well. Now, what's that saying here in Scotland? Cheers, da. Sons cry. Well, I tell you what, last night, cheers, everyone. Ryan was crying and his dad's on the show. Unbelievable, Charlie. <laughs> uh, tremendous, absolutely brilliant. Great night and just, as I say, 22 years in the, in the making, but uh, fantastic, really well. Just, and for the young fellow to play a part in it was just superb, you know. Just please, if you can, sum up the emotion. Oh, the emotion just incredible, as I say. Just uh, watched his interview, I was just saying there, the lads, Chris and Koisty, that uh, the last time I saw a, a Christie get emotional like that was a wife after Pretty Woman, but uh, it was uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, fantastic, man. It just it, it sums it up what it means to them. As Ryan, as Ryan said, it's been, a, it's been a hell of a year for the world, to be honest, and we all need a bit of a lift, and, and for football to give us that lift has, has been fantastic. Please tell me you had a tear as well, Charlie, because I think we all did. I did indeed, absolutely, and, and uh, what I nearly did actually was open my bottle of champagne from my mum in a match against Celtic in the year 2000, which was, was unheard of, to be honest, but, uh, but I managed to stay with it, but yeah, not, not, not often I get to drink champagne on a Thursday night in the Highlands, guys, but uh, uh, absolutely tremendous evening. Charlie, I've got to say to you, mate, if that happens again, you, you can come down to my house. I've got a white cellar full of champagne man and matches against Celtic, mate. Don't you mind? Get a front. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know if I, I don't know if I was born when you were winning that Mali. <laughs> <laughs> Good repose. <laughs> Very good. Oh. I've got to say, Charlie, that was one of the things that I, w- I was so happy. People were talking before the game, you know, what, what do you think the chances are? And, and, you know, do you think the boys will do it, the importance of the game and all that stuff? And the one thing <clears throat> that I wanted to happen more than anything, Charlie, I wanted the boys to qualify for themselves. Clearly, <clears throat> look at us, we're all buzzing. The country's buzzing. Everybody's, uh, uh, you know, in, in great form because of them. But I just felt the most important thing was being fortunate enough to play, uh, you know, a World Cup and, and European Championships. I wanted the players to sample it. I wanted Ryan to sample it. I wanted Big Marsh to sample it. And they've now got an opportunity. And when I looked at some of the scenes in the dressing rooms myself after the game, it was just magic. I was I was smiling. I was smiling all night last night. It was brilliant. Absolutely, Ali. I think any footballer will tell you. And uh, it's, it's, excuse me, do you have <laughs> Ryan in the phone? I, I, absolutely. I, you and... Uh, you and Chris will know, I think when you stop playing, it's the change room you miss most. I think any former player will tell you that. The, the atmosphere, you guys have won a heck, heck of a lot in your careers, the two years. And it's just, it's these nights that you, you know, when you're an old fogey like me, you look back on and you think, you just kind of forget it, you know. It's just, uh, it's amazing. And as you say, Ali, it's just that guys and the whole backroom staff and the squad and Steve and his team, they'll just, they'll take that to their graves, won't they? Charlie, did you get a chance to speak to Ryan last night? Yeah, Chris, he sent me a few video links from the celebrations for the hotel. He actually got him and again got taken for the drag test, actually, um, which he was, he was, he, he gets ready to take him there and sell it to the and he says, not again, Dad, so he takes me, him and John were in the waiting room to get the, the test for UEFA, but, uh, but then he showed me um, one about half two in the morning with the boys celebrating, Chris, and it was just, you know, fantastic. You just, as I say, you, you boys have been in the game a long time, you kind of buy these nights, you know? <laughs> position because he plays in so many different roles doesn't he he doesn't he doesn't i don't know whether he moans to you or moans to neil lennon about <laughs> it but you know so did, it, did it myself but you know he can play in so many different positions what what do you think is his best position uh, it's funny because he does want to me he doesn't want to lenny but he wants to me <laughs> he, he, ended up left, he ended up playing left wing back the other week there in jeep but i got it after the game but uh yeah i, I think number 10 Chris. i do i think just off a especially with someone like Dykes, a physical presence up top, like, you know, you were very good up top yourself, you, you took the knocks, held the ball in, he likes playing off someone like that. And the good thing last night, Chris, because the one thing I say to him is, he likes the ball into feet all the time, and I say, Ryan, you've got to go beyond at times, you know, it becomes easy, if you're, if you're into feet, it becomes a bit easier, 
And I think last night, as you saw on numerous occasions, he actually went beyond, which was good to see. Charlie, thank you so much. Listen, what a great example as well to other young players. What you just said about your son, the fact that it would have been easy to leave Celtic a few years ago when it wasn't going his way, but he showed desire, belief, so much more to keep going and now performing at the very highest level with the national team. And I bet you can't wait. You've got your fingers crossed for next summer and hopefully you can be there with so many other fans. Absolutely. I mean, we're, we're two games at home. We're just hoping we've got 55,000 or whatever it is at Hamden. And obviously, we booked the hotel last night for England, actually, Liam, so, um, for London. So I'll get, hopefully, get a couple of tickets off Coisty. <laughs> <laughs> but, listen, Charlie, I was going to say, please pass the best wishes on to Ryan. Tell him well done. In yeah. fact, tell him just to take the rest of the season off and save himself for the final summer. <laughs> Brilliant, Alan. <laughs> Brilliant. Charlie, you're an absolute gentleman for speaking to us. Thank you so much. All the very best. Stay where you are because we've got another special guest on the show after this break. Right, absolutely delighted to tell you that Kevin Gallagher joins us now, the man who helped us get to the last major championship all the way back in. 1998 scored such a crucial goal against Latvia. Uh, Kevin, I mean, I, I'm sure like us, last night you were watching on absolute delirium. Oh, unbelievable. You know, it's, it's Scotland. We've, we've done it all the time. We've, we're continuing it. You know, we, we like to take it to the wire, go that little bit extra. You know, I've got no nails left this morning. I thought, wow, <laughs> unbelievable. But I'll tell you what, talking about bottle, we had it at Blackburn Rovers. In 94, 95, we had bottle. In Scotland had bottle last night. It was unbelievable. What a performance. And, and how cool were they guys taking their penalties? Unbelievable. Did it bring back all the memories of when you did it last time? Oh, well, it certainly did. You know what I mean? It's, uh, we had to wait a little bit longer like before we, we qualified. But, you know, the lads last night, they knew what was at stake. And they had to go for it. They went for it. They gave their best. Two minutes away from 90 minute glory, which was phenomenal. Uh, a little bit of falling asleep at the end, but I tell you what, just getting over that wire, it didn't matter how we would win it. I, I take the ugly with it, uh, penalty kicks. But it just goes to show us teams that take us to penalties now will be fearing Scotland. Kev, what about your memories of, uh, of qualifying then for uh, for 98? You, you had a good strike force, didn't you, that evening against Latvia? Mobility, people who could run the channels. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, we, we, we did great back up on the bench. The, the bench, the bench was just that's what you look at. Like, you, know that. you look at the bench, and you're only as strong as your bench. And we had the main man on the bench to, to boost us up front, so that was the main thing, kept us on more toes. It was a bizarre night for me last night, cheering like a goal involving McGregor and uh, obviously Christie. But equally last night, uh, uh, equally in '97, I remember celebrating in that. Home dressing room as well. We're not often are celebrating the home dressing room in Celtic Park, but in '97, you and the jukebox certainly helped me do that, pal. That was brilliant. No, I mean, it's, it's great having all the memories and, and coming back and reminiscing about what we did. And but we just couldn't believe that it's going to take this long for us to actually go and follow the lads. A new generation of boys to a, a major now, and no, I mean, it's happened. It's reality. And it's sort of blown the ghost over of what we achieved in our day. Now, hopefully, this bunch of lads can carry on and, and continue it for, for the, the national team in the future. What a shame. I know you watched it at home, like like so many of us did, you know, with families last night, but not with friends or not at the game, not in the pub. I mean, what a shame we could all be together to watch a game like that. It was. Uh, you know, it's, it's a sad one. I mean, it's obviously the pandemic playing havoc with a lot of things just now. And, you just want everybody to stay home and be safe. But, you know, to, to celebrate something like this on your own, it's weird. Like, it's, I mean, I had my daughter's boyfriend in, in the room behind us screaming and shouting when England were scoring goals. And then he's got me screaming in the other room when, when we scored the goal. So we had a bit of banter on that. And, and the thing is, we woke up this morning and we forgot that actually we are playing each other in the summer. So it was like one of those, like, it's when, I've got to go in and face them in here at work now and actually see what the band is all around with a big smiley thing. Take the stick before we get the real stick in the summer and hopefully get one over on them. I think someone's just spotted you outside there. The horn's been going. Listen, thank you so much. You're an absolute gentleman for coming on the show. Have a great day and hopefully we'll see you soon, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin. Thank you.
Take care, yeah, Kev. Take care. Take care. See you later, boys. Have a good day. Cheers, all the best. Well done, mate. Great to have Kevin Gallagher on the show as well this week, wasn't it, guys? And, and just reminiscing, Ali, about some of the, the great moments from the past. So good to be able to compare that now to the, the present day and what you've been through. Oh, absolutely, darling. You know, I touched on earlier on because <clears throat> some of the memories that, that, that we have, I mean, my memories of Euro 92 was, was amazing, absolutely amazing. Sweden, you know, World Cup 90, Euro 96, just wonderful. I can't tell you the thrill that I've got for those players now having the opportunity to represent their country at a major championship. So, as I say, as you can probably see as well, I'm, I'm so pleased. Because the memories I've got, and I'm sure years down the line, these players will now have the same memories themselves. Magic, it really is. And t- tell us about your goal. I mean, you've been dying to tell us about your goal against Switzerland. <laughs> it was unusual for you, wasn't it? Because it wasn't a tap-in. It was actually, it was actually pretty good. Well, I think... I think you'll find the tap ins are pretty good as well, Chris. You should know that. You got one or two yourself. No, but you're right. It was a, a you know, it was a, it was a strike from outside the box, and I, I, can, I can still remember it clearly. Did you mean it? it? Oh, absolutely. Oh, you. It, I mean, it, was, I it, wasn't, it wasn't the old hit and no. I can't believe I answered that question. I knocked the ball into Gary Mack, <clears throat> and the way of Gary McAllister's pass, a lot of people don't appreciate it, but Gary McAllister actually. Gives me a kind of three-yard pass, but it's beautiful because I don't have to break my stride. And I, I, I hit it with a kind of instep, and, but I knew I was stretching a little bit. And as I stretched, it put a little bit of bend on it. And uh, quite frankly, the goalkeeper had a cheap diving for it, Chris. I mean, I, I don't know what he was thinking about. You know? And I'm sure you'll all agree, we'll all be cheering and, and going crazy. Hopefully, if London Dykes are right, Christie again. Happen to score in these Euros coming up, fantastic, and I, I, and I clearly wish them very, very well. Only if he scores against England, Chris will be calling him an Aussie again. Big <laughs> what chances he got, Ali? I, I don't care. As I said earlier, I'd be, searching, yeah. I'd be searching the back streets of Adelaide or Brisbane or Alice Springs for another one. <laughs> yeah. Bring them on, absolutely. Oh, listen, so many good things to talk about this week. It's been an absolute joy, hasn't it? But we're yeah. not done yet. Because even though it's a Scotland special, it's quiz time. Right, gentlemen, here we go. No using mobile phones. You can you can have a pen and paper in front of you if you want. You can keep track of what's been said so far. But let's get going on this. Scotland are in the Euros, which is magnificent news, isn't it? All you need to do this week is name any other team who are there. Any team at all, apart from Scotland, are in the Euros next summer to book their place. Is it 7-6? Seven, 7-6 six, seven, six this summer in the series, isn't it? Yes. The, the, uh, seven, yeah, six, he's just ahead. 7-6 McCoy. So, Chris, you can go first. England. Darrell, just before the question, did you say other teams or all the teams that are in it? Would I get away, for example, would I get away with Scotland? I've said Scotland. Or did you say other teams? There'd be an inquest if I let you away with it, Ali. But I will, oh. I'll take Scotland. I'll take Scotland because we're in... Wales Croatia Germany Slovakia Let's go, see what you're doing there France Dave, you take all the you take all the normal ones mate right why don't you Germany and France <laughs> Czech Republic Belgium The Netherlands. North Macedonia. That's amazing. Really? Portugal. Italy. Spain. <laughs> How long are we giving it? Hold on. Sweden. Yes. Oh, yes, wow. I'll take it. Finland. Oh, come on. I'm, this one's not right. I'm Sorry. about to hand them it in a plate. I can't believe it, but I'm going to go for it. Austria. They're in there. Turkey. Oh, he's got me under the cosh. He's put me under pressure. 
Oh, Ukraine! Come on. Connect. Russia! Hey. That's me, done. I'm handing it, I'm handing it. You wouldn't have said Russia if I'd have said Ukraine. No, I think you're right there. I make it. Come on! Three teams left. Switzerland! Switzerland! Yes! Yes! Poland! You're taking the mic. Yes! Is there only one left? You've got to give me a clue. What's it begin with? Because if we go through a full house, that'd be tremendous. Is it, is it for the sport? I'm giving you five seconds. Four. Oh no. Right, I would need to go for it. Oh, you're out. Right. You're out. Uh, listen, hold on a minute here. The correct answer, but I need a, I need an assurance for the producer that it came on time. If you've named them all, there's no. going to be an inquest. Produ Wait a minute. Was it in time or not? Producer, no, I need to hear from the wasn't. producer. I'm waiting yes. for a message on my phone, a live message. No. Hold on. He's not come back I'm to me not. yet. I need to know if it's an acceptable answer in time. I no, said, it wasn't. Wait a you, it's got oh, to hold be. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a second. You've got to do the right thing. Credibility at stake. Like she's accepted it. It's a draw. Nobody's won. Oh, I'm not having that. Nobody's won. By the way, I'm not he's taking it. He won he it. He's taking it. won it for North Macedonia. I, I have to say, well played. You've got every team in Group A to F. I mean. And I said, listen, no using mobile phones or anything. That is that is remarkable this week. It's seven six because I think we deserved a draw after all we've been through in the last twenty four hours. Absolutely.